It's showtime. the sound of the remix of Vermilion City. It's quite some time that I've heard this song. Anyway, hey everybody, it's the D-Rock that and welcome back to more of Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time, we took the SS Aqua and we made our way to Vermilion City here in Kanto. This time, we can explore a little bit more about what this place has to offer. Get. Alright, what do we have here? I'm the fishing dude, the elder of the fishing bros. Have you met the fishing guru at Lake of Rage? He dreams about seeing the world's greatest magic carp. If you don't mind, could you show him any magic carp you catch? Who knows, you might catch the magic carp of his dreams. It's a photo of people fishing. They look identical. Hmm. Perhaps they may be hearing that they're twins. Or triplets. Who knows? Anyway, Pokemon's preparing the land for construction. But I have no money to start the project. Hmm, that sounds like a personal problem that you have there, mate. And wouldn't you know it? We have an item from behind here, but you have no ways of using Rock Smash with them in kind, but let's see what that is later. But now that I'm thinking about it, you can't. Anyway, um, there should be a spot around here that I won't really want to take a look at. Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, Pokemon fans, welcome. Someone has a Bailey. Look at my darling Bailey. The leaf on his head is so cute and fashionable. I love the way Clefairy opens up in its arms. It's so adorable. Hmm. Chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. I am the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit here just to hear about my Pokemon? No, why not? Good, then listen up. So, my precious Rabidash. It's cute, lovable, smart, adorable, irresistible, plus amazing. Don't you think so? Oh, so wild, beautiful, kind. I love it. Again, it's warm and cuddly, and it's... Oh, God. Okay. He gives us a rare candy here for listening to him talk about his weird Pokemon fetish. Let's get out of here before we lose our sanity. So anyway, um, down here, we do have a gym right here that we could potentially take on. However, I don't want to do that. I want to see the gym for something a little bit later. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. Hmm. A tunnel, you say? Well, maybe we should take a look at it and see what's going on out here. So along the way, while doing a little bit of exploring around, we have some trees that we could potentially headbutt. And from said trees, we have only one new Pokemon that we can find. It is actually the very first and fourth generation Pokemon that we can find. Combi! Anyway, Combi, as a Pokemon, this is a very strange Pokemon. I say strange for a couple of good reasons. One is that it can evolve. However, you need him to have it be female. When it evolves it into uh, Vespaquen at a pretty decently high level, it actually becomes a very reliable bug flying type. In fact, I believe in this generation, it is the only Pokemon that is capable of learning or having the ability known as Pressure, which doubles the PB use of a Pokemon. If you want one, by all means, it's there. Plus, with Attack Order, Heal Order, and Defense Order, yeah, I think you can tell from where they're going with this one. And that's... pretty much it, really. Hmm, looks like we have another spot over there that we can take a look at. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a bridge? Can we go over... Not over. Under the bridge. Alright, Lapras. Oh, 
maybe we need to go on the other side. Like I said, yeah, it's been a while. So, let's have a little look around here. Um, I actually laid out a pathway for me to take on for this particular LP because, in all seriousness, while I do love this game to death, there's only so much of what I could do at the very moment. And I just wasted so much time. Let's just get on our rad ride. And I think... Should be a spot somewhere around here. Can't use Surf on my... There, but there's a little spot right there that we can look into. Well, anyway. Close that door off. Hey! We have a bit of a familiar big belly right here. No Pokemon sleeping peacefully. Looks so content. And we can't do anything with that at the very moment, but we want to come back and check on him with that a little bit later. We also have this house I don't think we explored yet. Did you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that connects to Kanto and Johto. Saffron, Saffron, I'm going to go to Saffron City to see the Magnet Train. Magnet Train! Wow, that kid's a pester. Ma'am, I just got one word to say. RUN! All right. Woo! Woo! Muscle band! I think it does have the boost of power of attack, but I think it lowers a stat. Let me take a look at it. A held item to be an item to be held by Pokemon. A headband that slightly boosts the power of physical moves. Rhino, you are getting that! Now this... Is it basically the other version of an amulet coin? Which doubles the prize money at each use. I am going to give that to... Hmm. It's holding the never melt ties, but I barely use it. I have no... Do I really have any need for it? You know what? No! I don't really need the Nevermelt Toast for a while. I think I could do with this for the time being. Um, I think up here this guy has something of good use to us. Yes! I technically don't really need that many Dusk Balls because I'm not really going after any Pokemon at this point. Because every Pokemon that we can find out here from any bunch at this point in the game are mostly just here for simple catches and nothing more. So what do you say we head north, shall we? So, Route 6! TM 70, 62 Silver one. Jeez, I kind of shot myself in the foot right there. And guess what? I'm feeling risky. And also, I love the Cherube! Anyways, I was trying to say, I love the remix that they made it for... For the Johto, or the Kanto region, and Harko and the Silver Stover. I love it to death. And look at that. All of that. What? Mother, you've been getting a lot of items for me. But that muscle band that you sent me, that's a good one. That'll be a good one. Day. Are you going to beat us? Danny. Okay. Day and Danny. Danny Day. Oh, okay. Uh, plus or minus. These are great Pokemon for double battles. Well, here's what I think of that. The reason why I say that they're really good in double battles is because of their abilities. Plus or minus. They, I believe they boost the power of special attack. Except for when a Pokemon has minus uh, on the field. And, oh wow. Oh wow. Ouch. That's just a big ouch. It actually would have been an insult to injury if I actually did get paralyzed. Like, I was unable to move that turn. But you know what? 
Doesn't matter, you don't have static for the ability. Good day. Wah! Yeah! Eh, go cry yourself to mama. I'm challenging these trainers because I'm just gonna come out and say it. This game is not the absolute best when it comes to leveling up any Pokemon. Alright. A slack off? How the frick did you get yourself a slack off? Oh, Amnesia, that boosts the power of special defense. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, why is that thing not a slacking? I will gladly take a critical hit over anything. Yay! Who's gonna learn safeguard? That prevents status moves? Let's take a look. The user creates a protective field that prevents status problems for five turns. Um Yeah, I'll scrap it this time. Yeah, I lost! That sounds like a... You sound like you're happy that you lost. Alright, gonna put Ryan up in the front, and let's put Chomper up in the front. Oh, right. I need to make sure that I'm not missing any items. Doesn't look like it. Ryu. The road goes until the problem with the power plant is solved. Well, we might want to go take a look at that. Welcome to Safari, uh, Safari, Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what Norma said, but the Magnet Train isn't running now. It's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong with the power plant. It looks like everyone's having problems with the fucking power plant. Ooh, this theme. Okay. And of course, I am going to be playing it safe. I am definitely going to be. Healing up my Pokemon and stopping by at every Pokemon Center that we can go to. Yeah. Thank you. That's enough. I'm getting off my bike because I want to listen to this really nice piece of music. Silvco, office building. Okay. This is Silvco, famous for Pokemon merchandise. Past Team Rocket wanted the company because of that. Well, it's a good thing that a certain someone thwarted their plans. It's a place called Trainer House in Viridian where trainers are gathered from all over the place. Ooh. I now want to come in here real quick. This guy. I got it. You wanted this. I didn't say anything, but I just came in to see if it was there for us to explore around. TM29 is Psychic. You may throw the target special defense. Hey! Free Psychic! I'll take it! Alright. I guess we can take a, uh, take a look inside. Welcome. up. This is Silco's head office building. Hey you! The elevator there is out of order now. What's the problem with the electricity? It won't work right. I'm sorry that you wasted a trip, so here's a gift for you. It gives us an item called the Upgrade. It's of course latest product. It's not for sale anywhere else. Interesting. Um, that is actually something that I want to talk about in a little bit later. Alright, anyway. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. My daughter is unique. She would make friends, then her mimicry would scare them away. She has a few friends. Ouch. Blissey! Don't know how those people got Blissey, but... Doesn't matter at this point. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking, but that's my main hobby. It's a Clefairy. Huh? Oh, right, it's a Clefairy Poke Doll. Yeah, but... oh, I moved. It's a real bait. I... Ah! Okay. 
That was odd and freaky. Uh, no, thank you. Kanto Jota Magda train line, Saffron City Station. It's grand and it's special. Alright. Eventually, there's a super modern rail in Atlanta that uses electricity and magnets to attain incredible speeds. However, there isn't any electricity, it's just an iron box. Only people suffer on the ride the magnet train that passes. Before the magnet train station was built, there was a house here. The little girl who was called Carpet Cat used to live in here. Hmm. Well, we actually just met one who goes by the name of Carpet Cat. Um, right here! The Fighting Dojo! Hello! Kilati King, the Fighting Dojo's master, is in the cave in Jojo for a few years of training! Okay. And right here we have the Saffron Hill City Gym, Little Sabrina, the mistress of Psychic Type Pokemon. There's not much of what we could do out, out there yet, but like I said, I'm going to be facing the gym at a later time. We, ugh, there is a way in how we could challenge them in chronological order. But that won't be for quite some time. You know, it's a torrent. It's impossible to read. It won't open. It's locked. Well, alrighty then. We're the Kento Pokemon Federation Trainer Group. We'll drive you under our wheels. Uh, while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and quickly cover the one new Pokemon that you can find out here in Route 8. And that Pokemon is... Haunter! Haunter! Is a Ghost Poison type. And... I have to say, this is a Pokemon that I was very disappointed with because... I really like it, the gas line. I really do. But... They're just so... They're very frail, and of course they're very fast, and... You know what? Forget what I said. I love these guys a lot, and the real downside I can say about it is, is that to evolve it, you need to have a person to trade with you, and that's pretty much all I can really say about it. But in the end, it does become one of the fastest uh, poison types out there, but even the fastest ghost type in the game. I love this thing, but I do kind of find it hard to use it every now and then. In fact, I think it's actually not a bad idea for you to catch said Pokemon because I believe there's a certain time later on that where you'll be able to trade a Pokemon for some for something else later on, and it's actually not a bad idea to do it. And I'm just, I'm just yammering on. And crap, I forgot that they are immune, that they resist the fighting type. Ah, oh, crap! You know what? I kind of deserved that one because I was being an idiot. Um, let's see what it is. Make that Lux license be printed to some good use. I heard something. Okay. Well, now that we've gotten that out of the way. I really want to see what that item is. And I could technically like, cut these guys out. But. I'm stubborn, damn it. Eh, you got the worst one of the group. Oh no, a quick attack. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Oh wait, waterfall this ass. I almost said waterfall this ass. Ha 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 ha. Ah, what the hell is wrong with me? Forgive me. Ah, cry it out your ears. I'll take on the last of you guys. 
with the Kanto Pokemon Federation. Rockin! Dude. I think you need him to calm the hippo down. Zeke. That is an awesome name! I'm pretty sure your full name is Ezekiel. But people call you Zeke for short. Oh, come on! Who's that for? I somehow survived that. Pretty sure these guys specialize in going. Alright. Enough screwing around. Let's use an actual special type and move on this. And it goes down, go boom. Not middle of boom. Yikes! Sorry! Yes, Ralph. Spending some time with my Goldie that I have with my kids. That's what's sad, actually. We call him all sometimes, too. Ralph, my mom calls me. She makes my sandwich. And she gives me some average items. Anyway. Do I look weak? Don't make me laugh. When I'm with Lulu, I got a hundred times more courage. Mo and I are a great pair. You should prepare yourself. Oh, we got ourselves a couple. You know what? You guys are nice. I like you guys. And I... Th you know what? Never mind. And... Oh, crap. Well, at least you can guarantee that CDOT's going down this turn. I thought I had Chomper Target... Or Lotad. Uh-oh. It's probably gonna be on... Chomper. Yep. I somehow survived that. Oh wait, it wasn't Giga Drain. Uh, Ice Beam away! Yay! What? Uh, oh, whoa! What? My lord! Lady! Many of the items that you've been giving me are full of berries! Well, then again, the berries that you did me do have a bit of a, some decent use. They cut the power of super effective moves and on some of my Pokemon. So, I'll give you that. And that Growlithe. Growl ah, shit. Wrong move. Okay, good. Goodbye. Hide your can to the face. And a critical hit. Ouch. I really should blew its head off. You were very skillful. Whoa! What? You just love giving me stuff, don't you? Well, then again, this guy that we battled. Oh boy. Here it goes. Oh, hang on. We have ourselves a yellow one? A yellow leprechaun! Alright. Okay. So now that we're at the Pokemon Center, it's only a couple places for us to explore at the very moment, so... So let's have a look around, shall we? Alright, Rhino. Good to see you're fighting a bit. Alright. 
see what he's got. Oh, I can bet us. And Caspi berries. Got anything else for me? Yes, you do. Focus Sash! If the user has full HP, the holder will endure one potential KO attack. Leaving one HP. This is something that Sturdy should have gotten from a very long time ago. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Theodora. Even though that she's holding the black glasses, she's also pretty pretty frail. And what do you got today? Anything else of good use? You have snow mail. It's mostly there for deliveries. Thanks, but no thanks. I want to volunteer Pokemon House. House of Memories. May Pokemon spirits rest easy. People come from all over to pay their respects to the spirits of Pokemon. And what's this? Came to a radio station. Your best love shows on air around the clock. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be called the Pokemon Tower. Someone knocked it down and moved the cemetery out there? Who does that? I'm just a tiny quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's gotten a bit busier since the radio tower was built. It placed it in a location where the spirits have roamed out. What the hell? Hello there, I'm the official name, Rita. We need to make the Pokemon's in the Pokemon? Goodbye. It's another name, Raider House, but we don't really need to see that. This place, though! Can you believe it? Some people got bored with taking care of Pokemon. Grandpa takes it into such an poor homeless Pokemon to take care of them. Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's away now. He should be at the House of Memories. So he's right next door. Okay. Hello. Oh. Kevin's wants to visit Pokemon resting places. There's other resting places of Pokemon here, I think. There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may enter. The Pokemon that lived with me a long time, I didn't treat them as Pokemon. I love them like my grandchildren. Welcome. Hmm, you appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Those who love Pokemon and come here to pay their respects to Pokemon. Please pay homage to the spirits of Pokemon. I'm sure that would make them happy. Hmm. I'm just kind of curious. But then again, it would be very rude if I did that, but... But in either way, that's... Pretty much it for us here at Lavender Town. Yeah, they weren't kidding. Small town. Yeah. Every trainer has to know that. You don't say. So anyway, um, I think that pretty much just covers it for this episode, right? So, next time on Pokemon Hunt Gold, we are gonna be heading south of Lavender Town. Because there's actually something that I actually do want to get while we're down there. Mostly due to the fact that, well... It's something that's a very good use, okay? See you guys then.